What's going on guys? Been having lots of problems with my fantastic fan lately, so today we're gonna fix it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna replace the, uh, the PCB board on my uh, fantastic fan. Uh, I've been having problems with it lately that it was uh, intermittently turning on and off and I'd have to put it in reverse before it would go into forward. Uh, so finally gave up the ghost a couple weeks ago and um, I was able to, I found online that they said that you had to order a whole uh, housing for it, which is pretty expensive if you know the cost of these fantastic fans. Uh, but I was able to find a uh, RV uh, website that had the boards on order. Now mine's a uh, 7350 model, a fantastic fan. Uh, there are different boards for all the different models, so be sure if you're looking on the website that you're doing the correct model. Uh, the link that I'm putting below in the description is going to be for the 7350 PCB board. We are going to replace that and uh, in the packaging it came with the board and uh, there's instructions about a, a, a jumper being on it. And from what I understand they said that the if you have a black canister style motor to leave the jumper on and if you have the flat pancake one which I have uh, you leave it off. I confirmed that on the old board that it's, the jumper's not there. I don't know if you can see that or not but there's the jumper and on the original board there's no jumper so I'm going to pull that pin out and just put that off to the side don't need it and uh, I did take pictures uh, when I took this apart so I knew where all the wires went back to which is a good idea because they're not really labeled that well um, so yeah we're gonna get into pulling the housing down and everything else all you need at this moment is a screwdriver oh uh, the board did come with a uh, another rain sensor uh, but I don't have a ladder so I can't even get on the roof and you don't have to get on the roof to do this repair. And it came with two new screws for installing the uh, board. Uh, but we're not going to use the rain sensor. I might replace that later on down the road. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, to start taking the outer housing down, we have to remove the uh, knob for the uh, roof vent. So it's just a Phillips screwdriver. that out. Another little trick I have, not trick, but tip that I have is I have a magnetic bowl keeping all the screws in so I don't lose them. So the next step I'm going to take the fuse out of this just so it's not hooked up electrically but if yours is it's best to take the fuse out. It just unscrews like that. And I'll move the four screws in the corner of the uh, housing. Now, I prefer not to use power tools in this situation because you're going into plastic and wood and it's very easy to strip out the threading. So yeah, I just like to use hand tools, go old school. So that housing comes out pretty easily. I'll clean that before I put it back in. And then pull the rest of the fan down. It is back to a Phillips screwdriver. And you have to remove this uh, assembly for the roof. So that all comes down. It's just a plastic housing that comes down out of that. Clean that as well before I put it back. And so you just remove the rest of the screws. There's one, two, three more, and this whole thing will come down. The PCB board, it goes right here. So I am just going to uh, look over all the cables I have. I think I have to replace uh, that 
this wire up here with another crimp. Uh, since I couldn't get it off the other board, uh, so I'm going to try and do that first, and then we'll be right back. With me having a uh, soldering iron, I might as well solder up this joint uh, between these two uh, wires instead of doing a uh, butt joint connector or anything else, because unfortunately I don't have a butt joint connector, but I do have soldering stuff, so I'm going to solder the wire. <laughs> there we go. Soldered up, heat shrink on it, good to go. No connector to loosen off or anything, so yeah, that works for me. Alright, so there's the blue-red wire coming from the power supply from the motor. Goes down to that blade. Now to the blade right beside it goes the uh, black and white wire for the uh, motor assembly for raising and lifting the, uh, the lid. So I'll plug that in. So that blade's in there like that. It's red wire for the uh, gear motor. It attaches to this blade right there. Just like that. So your wire's coming up and over because uh, this board rests right against the bottom housing of the plastic. So you don't want the wires pointing down. It's so up and over. And next we'll plug in this uh, red, white, and black uh, plug. So this plug goes into this okay next is this uh, yellow green and black uh, cable and it plugs into this little plastic housing right here all right that cable's in now this uh, white wire here that comes from the uh, plunger for the roof it goes into the lower of these two blades just like that and now for your uh, 12 volt wires i covered this in electrical tape but uh, this blade goes onto here and the white wire goes on the blade above the last one so p15 i think that is and that one all right, so all the wires are attached like that. Now we're going to screw it back onto the housing on those two little tabs here. The right, board is attached by these two screws. Now you put the board in front of the tabs. Now we all have to do is uh, start putting this back up, attach the uh, rain gauge to it. I just didn't want it to to yank on the wire with it being the shortest wire. So yeah, time to stuff this thing back up there. <laughs> all right, so one of the hardest things is always wire management, just because of the way all the wires hang out around this. And your 12 volt cable coming in from back there, you still have to make room for the housing to go over all that. And you don't want wires in the way of any of your screw holes either. Uh, so it takes a little finagling to uh, get this in there, but we're going to do it. All right, well, before I put the housing back on, I guess I better test it to make sure it works. Come on, baby. Beautiful. Reverse. Nice. All right, we are fixed. Sweet. All right, somehow this little arm popped off of my uh, fan. 
I noticed the last couple of days when I was closing the door that I heard this flap all the time. So I guess it was that. I thought I had a window open or something, but I guess I didn't put it back together right when I uh, was working on it the other day at Play, Play Your Records on. Yeah, another thing to fix. Alright, I had to pause for a minute just to clean this bracket. It was all scummy. So, let's put this back together again. Oh, maybe that's the problem. It's so dirty. Should probably put some lithium grease or something on that. We'll get to that in a minute. So, let's get this in the right position. Put this back together. Gonna get a little bit of lithium grease to put on this. Keep it moving smoothly. All right, that should work. Finally uh, stopped for a minute and pulled out my little brain <laughs> and realized what I did wrong. This bracket here I had backwards, so I had the big hole up here, so anytime it tried to close, it tried to pull itself through the hole. So I switched it around and everything works perfectly, no more binding up, it's all good. Done. Another project fixed. Next.